Hi again, YouTube. Well, I'm back. Uh, Christina, Christiana Garrett from England, a friend here on YouTube, which sends me some very good stuff. Just sent me uh, a link to something very interesting regarding the so-called Biloxi Dome. The Biloxi Dome is an ancient volcano. This one is situated here looking like this shoe. This is the actual crater mount and that is the rim you see here. And over here we have the deep water horizon well. Right next to this salt dome I showed you yet uh, on my latest upload that showed the extent of the damage they have done around the sediment layers and the salt dome. Let's take the next slide. This is also a satellite picture, but this is uh, in natural colors. That's how it should look like. So here we have the Biloxi Dome and deep water horizon over here, right next to this huge salt dome. But this is a volcano, and this is what I have showed you on that black patch earlier, that there is a vast volcanic area in the Mexican Gulf just south of United States. And here we have a Google picture which shows the location of the Biloxi Dome and this is the location of the water horizon. And you can see this has been taking place on a slope also. And these slopes, and that goes also for the Bermuda Triangle, they are very fragile. They kind of shift appearance at all times because there is many landslides, there is a lot of shifting of the sediments due to this very steep slope. It is loose sediments, it's not bedrock, it's not rock at all. It is very loose, very fragile and it's extremely risky for anyone to go out there and do drilling for oil. It can only go wrong and you can count on this one is very wrong. And this is a little closer up and we have the water horizon around here but this is the actual distance seven miles from the Biloxi Dome but in reality this could be a smokescreen for what is really taking place in this area and this is what I want to get into this is NOAA's uh, free fall uh, survey. They are using a special apparatus that looks kind of like a torpedo and they drop that vertical down while they are sailing with 10 knots at cruise speed in order to pick up data. And as you see here, this is the Biloxi Dome and the purple spots here illustrate where there is leaks. There was a oil exploration in the Macondo area which is owned by BP taking place on an ancient volcano, an ancient asphalt volcano. So are we to believe that the deep water horizon really is the actual accident that the deep, deep water horizon yeah basically was put out there as yeah as a what do you call that yeah smokescreen for what they were trying to hide in this place because the the distance between the deep water horizon which is this red dot and to the actual leaks in the seafloor is very little. So there is absolutely a good reason to speculate that deep water horizon, the rig itself, was sunk, was planned to be sunk as a smokescreen, as a cover-up for what really, really is happening at the seafloor. And what's happening down there is devastating. This is deep water horizon over here. This is here where there was the the uh, oil rig, or oil 
uh, exploration and here we see these seven purple dots this is the actual column of the oil this is a 3D picture NOAA has been uh, taken uh, using this sonar equipment the free fall fish it looks like kind of like a fish they just dump it down kind of like this while they're sailing and then they get a spectral an analysis of how the water column looks like and we see here we have vast plumes or columns of crude oil spewing out and in this there is also tar and that's why there's been washing up tar balls on the beaches because this is an ancient asphalt volcano but apparently there is oil down there too and that is the whole trick they are trying to cover something very very nasty up I don't know how many of you out there that knows the truth about this but this is beyond anything I knew about this is news to me and it's news to many people too maybe some of you know it but over here we have the deep water horizon we have leaks over here way ahead and I don't know how much that is in miles maybe that is 12 miles instead of 7 but here we have leaks but they are not that big and these two here are not that big but look at these huge columns rising up and this is where there is crude oil and I'll come back to that and this is from another angle that is directly vertical and you clearly see here that over here that is the picture I showed you last time the dome but here we actually have the leaks and a little zoomed out we also see how big an area we are talking about but that is not the biggest problem this is the instrument they're using for free fall and that one is measuring the amount of oil and in what depths the oil is, is monitored and that was the 3D pictures they I just showed you this is what this uh, apparat is showing you and this is a graph also and this is the surface of the water up here and this is the free fall line from the fish and here you see a column of oil this is down to sea floor it's, this one is measured from surface to 1300 meters down you um, so we have at approximately 3600 feet we have a plume of oil floating here which is approximately 50 feet thick and according to NOAA satellite pictures this plume has been measured to be 22 miles long and I did a, a little calculation uh, not for the fun of it but just to give myself a picture of how big this could be um, I have measured that out or calculated that out in cubic feet well let's say these um, 22 miles that is 105,600 feet and then I just took an example just to keep it within something understandable to a 5 miles um, wide so that means 22 miles times 5 miles so that is a very big area already there and then 50 feet thick and the result of cubic feet plume oil plume is 12 billion 672 million cubic feet of oil I don't know how much that is in gallons I did not calculate that but that's not even necessary in this case the numbers already should shock you 
that should really make you swallow a big lump in your throat because this is disastrous and these columns there are seven of them leaking out from the Biloxi dome which is a mixture of oil and volcanic material and right now NOAA also has the uh, the official damage of the sea floor and they have yeah the dead zone in the Mexican Gulf right now is Connecticut and Rhode Island combined that means that big area there is absolutely no life it's all dead that is at sea floor so this is a definitive uh, game over for the fishing industry in the Mexican Gulf this is going to spread much, much 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 further and the worst part of this 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 uh, this these seven leagues and this plume down here at a thousand meters that is a little over at a little less than two-thirds of a mile down this one is drifting towards the southwest it is not going towards Florida so that actually means that the use of Corexit will have to be intensified in order to keep this plume from not surfacing further southwest and that meaning going towards Mexico going towards Venezuela and the whole Yucatan Peninsula area so <laughs> I don't really know how to grasp this but look at these lines this is the plumes and they're also down to a 1200 meters that's almost a mile down a huge lake huge lake of yeah concentrated crude oil which is not surfacing and so question is this we are looking at here is this really well A and well B is it really where they say it is are these just false coordinates showing something which is not real so this is actually at the Biloxi Dome and where they're filming that is over where the deep water horizon actually crashed and there they might have set up some corrected device with all these yellow and all these nozzles which we I have showed you about that it looks like something stationary they have put down there is it because it's, it's put up to drift in the same direction as that plume in order to make sure this oil is not surfacing so how many gallons are they putting out into the ocean from the seafloor level and how many gallons are they spraying from the air onto the water and how many people is gonna actually die because of this Kendra Anderson is seriously ill the whole film crew from from her uh, reporting they have all been hospitalized in critical conditions and several others and it's gonna be much much more which is gonna be sick of this and it's also by my uh, by uh, marine biologists been shown now and proven that marine life has um, mutated DNA due to this vast pollution and this is real real bad and something else is coming to my mind that is that the 26th of August there was a 13 hour long rumble a very very serious rumble from the Yellowstone Park volcano and we know that many volcanoes are kind of intertwined with each other in channels and even the Hopi Indians knew that there was a huge snake system of channels and volcano volcanoes underneath their own land.